what is up what is going on guys gals people from uh, this planet <laughs> um welcome back to the channel i am uh, ryan the host this is o's dude diecast o's for oldsmobile dude as the dude from big lebowski and diecast pretty much where i got the name so i like it it seems to fit me. I've used it for years, decades now. So, except for the diecast, I had that later. That came a couple years when I got, well, actually, I've been collecting before, but, anyways, I was just trying to give you a little history about where the name came from. So, now you get the idea. It's not old, dude. Though I am getting old, but that's not what it is. So, um,. New subscribers, welcome. Hope you all uh, learned something, entertained maybe, uh, whatnot. Um, I'll do my best, or maybe my worst. You be the judge. I don't know. I think it's pretty good. But then again, maybe my sense of humor is kind of, you know. But anyways, so um Kind of scratch my head. I'm doing every one of my videos now, so it's a it's kind of tradition now, I guess. Um, I got a box over here. Last one from Jeff Rose Diecast for the year. I'm probably gonna take a break from that stuff because I've said it already once, and I'll say it again. I gotta get done with that online stuff. I need to start worrying about the stuff in town. Just kind of condense it back a little bit, cut back on the cost, enjoy it a little bit more. Go out and drive and find stuff like I used to. I mean, don't get me wrong. I probably will do one here and there, but it won't be like it has been. Um, Jeff Rowe, I don't know. I might do another one here soon. I mean, not soon, but now this will be the last one, like I said, and then I'll have another one down the road. I'm trying to think way ahead, but uh, I might not. I don't know. But this is a good one, I think. So, um let me get this thing turned around and we will start the party, shall we? All right, let's do it. We're back and uh, Cassie has joined the party. This is Cassie. What are you doing? Mm-hmm. Always got to be part of the show, huh? <laughs> All right, so let's trade places. How about you go over here? There you go. You're a pretty good listener when you want to be. So let's see. I've been trying to figure out. I'm trying to use this, utilize it. Because, you know, it's kind of gray and dull, right? So uh, let's take this in. Oh, sorry. I'm kind of not prepared, but then again. Better not, better be not prepared. I like it, just you know, go in and do it. Balls to the wall. That's how to do it. But yeah, got one of these big unboxes. Uh, here, let me get out of here. Uh, nope. Oh, well, anyways, that's a big old box. Well, not a big, big box, but a pretty good size box. So, all right. Thank you for putting that in that box, Nas. I'm starting to use this as one of my, uh, just kind of put some color out there, right? My touch of gray table, looking kind of, you know, plain Jane. Like I said, I need to work on these walls, which I guess I will start soon. Um, all right, let's begin. So let's see. I've been building this box for a while. Um, I need to get their blade. This thing is a little dull. Uh oh, a little Bob Dole here. Well, you can't even see it. I can't even focus on this. Nope, it doesn't want to focus on that. Yeah, anyways, that needs to be replaced. Well, for a 
first off, I got this because um, I want the base for it. Because I'm going to change out the base on my, um, God, what is wrong with this? Hold on, let me, there we go. I'm going to take the base off this and put it on my Zamac. But, uh, yes sir, yes sir. That is what's going to happen to that. But I bought it. It was cheap. Cut card. See, I don't always buy perfect cards. <laughs> Alright, so. Alright. Let's see here. What do we have here? Ooh. Ooh. My God. So, um, grab a couple short cards on the site. I don't know if that can work out. It's not, okay, there we go, that's a little better. But yeah, I picked up a couple short cards. Didn't have this Camaro from uh, about two years ago, I think. Uh, yeah, I believe it was from two years ago. Uh, so what's that, 2001? Yeah. I want to say 2001. Uh, I got the blue one, but I don't have this one. Um, pretty good looking. Like the, uh, it's a little busy though with the striping on top, but this is pretty much a factory striping down here. Looks pretty good. 85. Of course, if you, uh, third brake light, I think on the 85s was. 86 was up here. 87 was in the spoiler. Um, 85 might have been underneath. I don't know. I'm pretty sure 85 was the first year for the third brake lights. I'm pretty sure of that. But anyways, it's cool to have this one in the collection. Pretty good card. And I also picked up this uh, 67 Pontiac Firebird. Pretty good shape for, uh, let's say it's probably 2010. Uh, it's tin, yes. So it's in that dark metallic blue or medium blue. It's got the nice striping on there with the, uh, I guess those are the faster than ever wheels. They look like them. Just got that silver trim around the rim. Five spoke. Looks good. I don't know if I have the long card of this. I bet this is one of the colors I hadn't had before or I just picked up. I can't recall. But, um, yeah. In the collection now. Yeah, boy. Uh, here we go. So, I don't know what this is. I don't know if getting this. Oh, I do now. <laughs> I didn't recognize the card. Been on my one of, it's been on my wanted list for a long time. And I finally got one. I finally got the Fiat 500C with the Moon Eyes Delivery. Delivery. Don't know why I said delivery. Maybe it's because it's like 4 in the morning. But, uh, oh, I didn't know it was like before. But here's a. Looks like I made 15,000 of these. It's a fairly low number. I mean, it's about right in the middle, probably, you know. Right in the middle. Doesn't bother me one bit, though. I'm glad to finally get it. I've been trying to get this for a couple years, just... Timing wasn't right. But, don't have to worry about that no more. I love it. Ooh, nice deco, man. It looks really good. This is a sharp little drag racing car right here. This one's got all the detail that the mainline, of course, doesn't have. I like that blue windshield, too. It looks cool. All metal, yep, all metal. With the good years on there. That is just sharp. Sweet.
I said, you always send you a little card, which is pretty cool. <laughs> this one's got the Santa Claus theme going here, or Christmas theme going here. Let's see. Happy holidays. Enjoy the cards. Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. I most certainly will. one I got was one of the uh, Hot Wheels Classic series uh, where they had the Spectra Flame paint scheme or paint and then they put like a livery on there. Uh, this is a 49 Merc in like the lime green. It's pretty cool to do the two-tone on the Terrier. That is pretty nifty. Yeah, I think my camera and my light needs to come off. <laughs> oh yeah oh nice to get this one in the collection this is a um, Walmart exclusive this is the um, 70 Barracuda uh, AAR the particular bottle but um, this is the uh, Exclusive to Walmart because it's the uh, red line wheels. This castle came standard with the same wheel, non red, non red lines. No, 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 no. But um, yeah, I had one, but apparently somebody decided to light my fire, or I don't know, somebody burned a hole in the bottom of it. Maybe, maybe it was the machinery at, at the factory. Who knows? But um, I needed another one. Uh, so. He, I just, you know, was on there one day, and he luckily he had a couple of these on the line. I was like, yep, you can sign me up for that one. I need another one. So, yep, I grabbed that. Uh, oh, a couple of Lucy's here. It's just random, guys. Let's see. Oh, I picked up, um, I think this is out of the 40th anniversary set. So I got the uh, 40s Woody. Pretty nice. A little white wall tires on it. It's got all the detail in the front. And it's got detail in the back. I just, oh, that's so clean. Yeah, I like this set. I don't like all the cars from the set. If I ran, ever ran into a good deal to get the set, I might lay some money down on it, but for now, I just grab the ones I like or I'll see. And, uh, man, I love the Chevron taillights. That's pretty cool. That is nice. Got that little pinstripe and flames on the back. And, uh, I'd have to say this is a Spectrum Flame Blue because it's pretty darn close. Very nice. I like the white walls, just clean, classic looking. There you go. All right, um, <laughs> so let me get back to this. So when we were, he had cars up from the set, he had taken up, uh, he pulled a, a set apart and sold them separately. Well, I said, yeah, I'll take the 40s Ford. He's like, oh, okay. So he pulls this one out first. And I was like, no, that's not the one I want. I want, I want this one. And he's like, oh, okay. And I said, you know, I was like, I was sitting there thinking, I was like, you know what? What the hell? I said, just throw the other one in. I'll take both. He started laughing. I thought that was a pretty cool two-tone paint scheme on that. Uh, the white walls are kind of growing on me a little bit on this one. For some reason, I feel like it needs to be... Uh, some, I mean, I know this is um, a 40th anniversary set, but I don't ever remember the 40, the Fat Vendor 40 ever having this uh, particular paint scheme. I mean, I don't mind it. It's pretty cool. It's different. I mean, it's got the detail like the, uh, the coupe does. It's got pinstriping on there too, see? But on this one, there is no light detail 
as on this one. But you can tell that these are totally different castings, even though it's basically the same car. Well, one that's basically on the same platform. It just shows you the different um, designers, you know, what details they pick out of their cars. Because this car is from 82, I think. Yeah, 82, and this one, I'm trying not to look at it. I'm going to say 2001. Oh, wow, look at that. I got it right. Boom. Every once in a while, I get something right. Most of the time, I am dead wrong. Right. Oh, well. I thought this was open, but that's fine. I wasn't worried about it. So, he had this up there. I don't know why he made it look like this, but I kind of already knew it was card, you know, done. So, I'm not worried about it. But I did like it. So, Fractures is my first. I don't know what the hell I was thinking, but besides the, I guess I thought nobody will remember the Ultra Hot name, right? So, this is the ultra hots I mean, this type of variation i think the car just i think it might have been re-glued at one time i don't know but the car is pretty shot so and i don't mind having this one loose it's pretty nice rear rider tires some gangster white walls on there yeah i like this two-tone green it looks good Opening hood, which I'm not going all the way with it because it doesn't want to. It's got the detail in the front and the detail in the back. Full metal, very nice. So, almost. Hey, guess what? Free and Friday. There you go. Though it was already pre-freed Friday. So I've been um, on this vintage kick with the uh, retro commemorative red lines. And uh, I don't know, just, I've been kind of on a kick on them. So I picked up one of the Metmobiles. Um, I didn't get the, I thought this was red, but <laughs> maybe it's purple or magenta. It's got the... Uh, Basic walls with the red lines on it. The customizer used these when they restore old uh, those uh, 73 on to 77 red lines. Because I think you can use these, these on the uh, back of the uh, 73s because they got the cap ones on the front. Those are some hard cars to find. They weren't very good years for Hot Wheels either. I think they're. I only think they did a couple of new models. A lot of these cars got either cut or renamed to kind of keep you know the audience and entertained. And interested. And let's see what else we got here. Um, I don't know. I see that. But I don't care. It's fine. Okay. So this is a, uh, I thought it was violet, but I'm pretty sure it was blue as well. But, um, it's the uh, 55 uh, Nomad, classic Nomad. And um, it's, uh, you know, when I look at the picture, it looked blue or purple, but it's actually blue. And it's not Spectra Flame, it's got metallic in it, so. Not bad. Because if you look at the new Nomad, um, they still carry the body I mean it's still brown um, they just released it uh, a Q case this one's opening hood as you can tell yeah I wish I could well, I guess my camera it's garbage but anyways it is but, um, still has all this the, the uh, ridges in the roof it's got the sunroof still Still has those scoops on the hood. They just changed the base of it now, or they actually corrected the, they, they took the customizing out of the front end, basically, but everything else is basically the same. 
maybe the, they put a base or a, I don't know if, I can't recall if the uh, new one has that uh, hook on the back the, to fasten it to the frame. But anyways, this is the Vintage Collection uh, repop of the uh, 55 Classic Nomad. Or I guess it's Classic Nomad. Yeah, Classic Nomad right there. Oh, the, uh, man. <clears throat> oh, the uh, button. Okay, next up on the list here is the uh, split image in the pink. So, uh, Kathy, why don't you go over there in the little uh, cubby hole? I think you'd be a lot more comfortable instead of in the back of this chair. Yep, this is split image. Uh, no, Sissy. Cassie, no. Okay, well, I'm going to be losing, so I'm going to have to find a spot. Now you stop. <laughs> Are you serious? You can't lay yourself there. Alright, well, you'll find out this is going to get uncomfortable. <clears throat> Here we go, with the uh, classic twin mill. And pink. It's from the 25th anniversary. The other ones, besides the last one I showed you, are vintage, I believe. Yep. So this is the. These were the previous year. These came out in two, 92, and those came out in 93. So, yeah. Uh, finally got me a Viora. That's the next one. There you go. Ooh, okay. So, finally got the first retro uh, vintage uh, red line and the other Dior in my collection, finally. Um, I had one before. I think it was from the 8-pack uh, the that they first brought out. They did two eight packs, and they're in yellow boxes uh, or cases. I got the first one. I don't think I, don't, I might have got the second one. I can't recall. But anyways, that was in there. It wasn't pink. It was. I want to say it was green, and then there was a. I think a blue nomad in there. I think the red baron was in there. The. Uh, Oh, the cop car, was our cop uh, T, whatever that was called. I think Split and Image was in there. Twin Mill, I think, was in there too. Paddy Wagon, that's what I was thinking of, yeah, that one. <clears throat> but yeah. Got another pink one. They're the rare ones. They're the hard to find ones. Just kidding, I don't know. I know if you have an original version of that. Usually the pink ones, the brown ones, I think the olives. Um, it, those are usually hard to find or rare colors. Um, also interiors. Um, different colors interiors will make them rare. Um, this is the uh, whipped creamer. Uh, I believe this came out in 71. I don't think it's got the original date on here. No, uh, 69, take that back, sorry. But um, it's got a little turbine up in here, which will turn, and the uh, glass also slides back on the original. Um, I like this deep red, looks good. Uh, I got a blue one, but this is the second, and uh, I just picked it up because I hadn't had it. Like I said, I know these are fantasy castings, but these are just, I don't know. The old school customs just, I don't know, they, they, they uh, grab my attention for some reason and I pick them up because uh, they're just cool I mean they're those old castings so uh, yeah so those are my vintage ones I think I picked up let's see I'm moving down to level 2 guys level 2 Ooh, it's busy 
All right, so, um, yeah. Going back to the uh, cool classics here. And uh, pick me up one of these uh, 69 Camaros and that uh, Spectra Flame Orange. With the green, uh, or, well, I don't know where I'm green, I guess I'm, um, with the white interior. Yeah, that's, that's right white, not green. With the classic red line tires on it, um, all metal base, and of course the body. Doesn't have much detail. I mean, still, they're nice cars. I like that white interior. I have a couple of these in my collection. Some of these, most of them are in storage, but um, I think I have one or two uh, that I've had before, and I think uh, I grabbed a couple from him on this time around. But uh, let's see what else we got here. Okay, got the '57 Chev here. For a little, uh, I know I have one in purple, and I think I got one in blue, like a uh, sky blue or turquoise blue. Uh, there might be another one too I have. I can't think of what it is. But this is nice casting. Really clean. It's got some of the details on there. It's got the Chevrolet with the V on there, which, uh, if I'm right, that actually uh, tells you that it's a V8 car. Uh, it's got the uh, Bel Air trim package on the side here. With some Goodyear's uh, 10 spokes or Goodyear tires with 10 spokes. They're not rubber, they're plastic, by the way. They just uh, typed it on there. Still very clean, very nice. A white interior as well. Um, I thought this might have an open hood, but it does not. But no detail on the headlights or tail lights, so all metal, like I said. And it's orange. Buy the seat for you. Alright, next. Yeah, this is a lot better. So, picked up a. Uh, let's see here. This is from. I'm gonna say. This is from 91. No, this is 90. Oh, yeah, because it's got the uh, card in there. So, um, yeah. Very nice metallic blue. Um, white walls and interior. It's got an open hood. All metal. As you can see, there's the, the hood. It's a little faded. I'm going to take some plastic cleaner. Or uh, maybe some wax and clean it up a little bit, sp spruce it up. But a pretty decent card. Uh, one little fart, little spot right there. But yeah, I like this one. I'm glad to have that one. I, I'm still looking for the uh, white one for the parking plates. Let's see next. Okay. This is the um, Custom Z from, uh, I want to say probably 91, because it doesn't have the uh, uh, card in there. It's a little flyer for you to cut out the uh, points to send them in to get uh, Hot Wheel merchandise from like 1991, I think, when so it expired. 92. Um, this is the optional wheels. Um, they also come with the Ultra Hot Wheels. Um, this is the Gold Metal Speed set. Uh, there's quite a few cars in that set. I'm gonna back out a little bit, guys. There we go. I think it was a little close. But uh, it's got the, the uh, three spokes and gold. Um, I think there's three variations of this. I can't remember, but I think there's a basic uh, Ultra Hot, or the Chrome Ultra Hot, Gold Ultra Hot, and this one. But, um, yeah, this was a new casting for, I believe, 89 or 90. It 
So this is 92 then. All right, yep, yeah, 91, 92, okay. And it's got the, my favorite, the paper bag backing on here. Pretty cool. I used to call them all the time about stuff. They used to hook me up. Matter of fact, I remember you could get some old cars from the 80s from them. They had them, um, uh, I guess some, some of the, or they had somebody that had old cars. Because I remember buying a couple of flat out 442s from them back in 90 or 91, something like that. I still have them. They're in storage, but they've been out of the package. Because that's what I collected out of the package. I kept the package. Right, so got the um, hot one variation of the uh, Ferrari 348 in uh, pearl white with the uh, pink tampos and the livery, I guess. Tampos livery, you you know, whatever you feel comfortable saying doesn't bother me, it doesn't have much detail. Um, tail lights are pretty much. Molded into the body. Well, no, molded into the frame, sorry. Um, but it is riveted on, so it's a... Uh, I think this is the one that's got, the, like, the two-tone base. Like, the the uh, bumper back here is plastic. And it incorporates with the interior, the center. I don't think that's a... Yeah, it's a separate piece. Make a two-tone. Um, it's in pretty good shape. I think I have the... I don't think I have one carded. I think I have one uh, loose, but um, we changed that now. So now we got one carded. Um, plastic base, like I said. Uh, pretty cool. The uh, chrome hot ones, I don't, they did that for like a year or two. So this was right when I was starting to get out of it. But um, pretty good to have this in the collection. So there's a carded one, but that, that really makes my day having that one. Keep building my Ferrari collection. Let's see, I'll put these up here. Don't get any funny ideas. There you go, stay there. Okay. I'm talking about Ferraris. I don't remember how good shape this is in, but I thought it was in pretty decent shape. Uh, it's got flea bites, but it's not terrible. This is the uh, Ferrari 308. Um, I think this is the... Um, from... Um, Mid-80s? Late-80s? Back 87, maybe? Uh, I think there's a silver variation of this, too. But it's got the gold basic wheels on it. Uh, the Firebird was like that, too. Um, it's in pretty decent shape. Ace is in really good shape. It's got a couple of nicks, but the wheels uh, got a little play. Nothing serious. It was decent shape. Got some plea bites, but it's still pretty there. It's decent. It's nice for a loose keep, you know, loose card. So, or car. So, windshield's pretty decent. It's got a couple. Well, it's not sh super shiny, but it's pretty good shape. There's not really any nicks, so... Not bad. I like that. It's good for the loose collection. Do, 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 do. I think that's it for my loose cars. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know me. I love my bottle opener. It's a carbonator. Didn't have this variation. And it's a faster than ever model, too. Or the wheels of the axle. I think it's the uh, what the tight, what is it? Nickel plated uh, axles for these things to make them go down the track fast. But uh, fast track race juice, love it. This is the only fantasy car I really collect because I just like it because it's in a bottle opener. I mean, it's a win win. I'm not gonna open. It. I already got one or two to open already. I don't need another one. But for some reason I'm collecting this. This one fantasy casting. This I have multiples of these, so I like it. Shape of a bottle. It's pretty cool. I like the colors. I like that like fluorescent orange bottle with the cap on the back and then I guess the jet out the back of the bottle. 
pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, I believe this is from 2010. Yep, 9, 2010. And that's when it was created the year before. So this is the actual second or third. This might be the third variation of it. And then again, I don't know if it did one oh nine. I know it was a treasure hunt. I do have that one. It's blue and green. But, yup. Pretty stoked to have that one. So, this is the uh, limousine in the other color. Uh, there's a light pink stripe, and this one's the fluorescent bright pink stripe. And uh, I got the light one, but I didn't have the uh, the uh, bright one, or the, uh, yeah, the deeper color one. But uh, this is the first variation of this car. Looks pretty good. Looks like the plastic got smooshy, smooshy. It's okay. It's not terrible, but I got it. That's cool. I'm glad to have the variation on that. Do, do, do. Let's see. Okay, so this is the uh, custom Corvette. Um, there's a couple variations of this. Um, there's a, uh, it's a dark purple, actually. If you look at that, I don't know if you can see that, but I always thought it was black. But it's purple. Real dark metallic purple with a beige interior. But this is the ultra hot vari variant. Um, I have a... Um, I have another variation of this car. I can't think of what it is. I don't know if it's 10 spoke. I can't think of what it is, but I know I have one. Or I got maybe two. Looks good. I like that purple. Yeah, I wish my camera would. I can get this off here. That is cool. All right. Picked up the uh, gold wheel variation of the uh, Viper RT10. Uh, I'm pretty sure it says 92. Gold speed series like the uh, Nissan 300. Or Nissan Custom Z, that one is. But yeah. It's got a plastic base, black interior, uh, red, like a, not turquoise green, but like a medium metallic green, I think, tealish green, I guess, or more, more on the green versus bluish green, but yeah, it's got the uh, painted headlights, no tail lights. This is the older casting. They just re they just released the the new casting for it, and they had the old casting at the same time. I guess kind of a either a farewell to the old casting, and here's to the new casting, or they might keep both. Who knows? But uh, yep, I got that one. Uh, finally picked up this Auburn. I didn't have this one. Um. For the longest time, I thought I had this one. I did not. Now, this is pretty similar to the first color that they brought out. Um, very close. It's got more of a... I don't know what would you call that. Um, it's kind of transparent color, like over white. It's a real weird color they use on these back in the 90s. They had a blue they did that with, and... Um, pink 
I think it was like that too. It looked like it was a white base and then they threw like uh, the spectral flame over it. That's what it always looked like to me. But um, it's in good, it's, um, it's got like black fenders, which the original one was red and brown fenders, which you all might be seeing in an up upcoming episode. Uh, it's got a grow chrome steering wheel. Uh, chrome trim around the window. It's got the old gangster white walls on it. Um, metal on metal. So, uh, speed tail, as you can tell in the back. Very, very sporty looking car for the 30s, guys. I really like this car. It's just classic looking. It's, it's, uh, it just kind of just reeks of like fast. It just looks like it's fast sitting still. It's a good looking car. I've seen them up close. It's pretty much just a two seater. Um, Believe it or not, I think that's, I'm pretty sure I've said this before, there's a little door there for, like, your uh, golf clubs. So, this is pretty much a sports car from the 30s. And they were built in Indiana. Look it up. Do, do, do. Oh, here we go. Now, I've never had this one before, but I know, I knew, I've known of it. And uh, I'm finally glad to get one. Do, 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 do. Okay, this is the 30 window 34 Ford with the pink livery. The the Macan most common one's purple, but this is the pink one. Pink fenders, of course, and the pink livery. I couldn't remember if the livery on the side was actually the same color as the purple ones, but nope, it's not. It's actually pink. This is the harder one to find. I never did find it in the wild when I was collecting back then. Because I was pretty much on my end at that point. I wasn't really collecting as much. But, um, yeah, it's 92, so. Oh, man, I remember having all these when I collected back then. I didn't care what it was. I was buying them all. Cards in really good shape. It's got a, little, a couple soft corners right there, but still. Not bad for a 30-year-old plus vehicle. Or card, I mean, heck, you know. They were never meant to kept in cards, you right? Kids were supposed to take them out and play with the ever-loving crap out of them. But not that one. All right. So. And by the way, guys, this is going to be a long one since it's uh, Jeff Rose unboxing. But this is the uh, Zender Fact 4 with the uh, silver hot ones on it. And uh, this is a later release because it doesn't have the Fact 4 on the side right there. Boom, right there in that quarter panel is where it'd be. And this is an actual car. This is, um, they, uh, I think they built a prototype or two of these. I can't recall. But I know it was an actual car. Um, I think it was just a prototype. One prototype was built. But yeah, this is the Zender Fact 4 with that heavy flake silver mid-engine car. Looks like it's a four-cylinder. I didn't even uh, read up on the specs on this car. Uh, clear headlights, no taillight detail, just the uh, actual locate the placement of them and the uh, scripted into the body with the exhaust and all that. Pretty cool. It's got a I guess it would have a louvered, uh, I guess head, I guess it'd be a, a louvered, um, for the, uh, I, I guess it, I don't know if it would be glass or wind, uh, the actual windshield or not. I didn't even, like I said, I didn't even research this car. I know of it. I know a little bit about it. Um, but, um, I don't know if that was actually a windshield or just like, just a louvers to, to have, you know, dissipate heat on it. So. But uh, cool car to have. Uh, they they made a lot of those. I was did so. And talking about it. Oh, that's a shame. Do do do. I 
this is the green variation. And I've never seen the top until now. I didn't know this this livery was on top of it. Pretty wild. It's like a dragging flames, something lava shooting out of the non-existing engine in the front. Just a crazy paint scheme on there or a livery. And this is what I was telling you about, like uh, like on the. Um, Oh, like on the, uh, what was the other car I was telling you about? The, oh, the Auburn, the red. It's, it's like they put a white coat on here, and then they put this green, like, yeah, see it right, right there? I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of a white base, like a primer. And then they shoot it with this, like, see-through green stuff, or whatever color they're shooting through at the time. It's a very unusual process. This is the only time I remember them really doing this back in the 90s. Um, yeah, this is probably... Since it's on a blue card, which is 92, I'd say. Yep, 92. But this one's probably 91. Yep, which is 91. Because they were still doing the promotional on the Speed Points Club, as you can tell. In 92, they said, nope, we're done. So, um... Yeah, yeah, this is, um, first time we having this one in the collection. I got a blue one, and a, I think I got a red one, and, um, also I got a 25th anniversary one. So... Uh, missing some of these in my collection. I got a couple, but now I'm picked up uh, the pace from uh, Jeff here. I got some of the uh, Loco uh, La Trucca. I don't know why I said Loco. Maybe I'm Loco. <laughs> yeah, I'm Loco. I know I am, clearly. Um, I have like I think a flat pink one, and then the first variation, which I think is like a gold frame with a metallic brandy wine color, almost you want to call it, and then maybe one other color. I can't think what it is. Maybe it's a green one. But uh, yeah, I've never had this color variation. Um, they usually sell pretty quick when I try to attempt to buy one I guess you would say but it's pretty cool to find a couple on his site nobody was looking at them and I said I'll grab those I've been kind of needing a couple of those for my collection and I grabbed two I grabbed this one in the gold with the uh Aztlan Cosent oh never mind then you can it's a delivery company and uh call Hot Wheel 1968. I think you still need a uh, another letter in that phone number, guys. Unless we're harking him back to, like, I guess the 70s or whatever when you didn't have what is it? Uh, seven digits now? Well, minus the area code. Oh, uh, yeah. Carnicera? Aslan, Aztez, and yeah, we're not trying that again. Sorry, guys. I was really trying hard there. And then, I got the uh, variant, the optional color, which is in like primer red. It's got the pinstriping on it as well. It does have detail on the front. I'm pretty sure the gold one does too. Yep, they do. They both have detail on the front, but no detail on the back. And it's got the different, uh, this one's got the, uh, they use this one in the code cars where you couldn't read the code, so that's kind of cool that they did that with that. Huh. It's a code card uh, uh, blister. But, um, yeah, yeah, a little in pretty good shape. Card's fairly decent. It's 
Still looks good from the front. Yeah, it's got a little, you know, booger right there, but like I said, unless you ask for a close and personal looks at these cars, you're getting them as you see them. Sounds like popcorn. Hmm. This is the first time I've actually seen this car. This is the uh, tea bucket in the uh, military uh, livery. Like rat rod, I guess you would say. Yeah, rat rods. There you go, team. Rat rods. Duh. Reed. This one's got a plastic. Well, I guess they were all plastic, but usually they're all chrome or gold. I think they were all gold, the engines. Uh, maybe one or two were different colors, but this is uh, first time seeing this uh, variation. Pretty cool looking. Sorry. God, this camera's really killing me on this. Maybe I just need to start looking through there. Yeah, there you go. It's got that flat olive green with the Hot Wheels uh, logo on the door. Tinted windshield, um, plastic hood, or well, plastic engine that kind of looks like aluminum. It's got a little livery on top there. Danger. Um, keep off. Pretty cool. Flat gray uh, five spokes, the OGs. Nice little pinstriping with the spider uh, web. It's all metal too. Nice. All right, we're down to this, the last level. What is going on here? Why well, is this happening? Oh my God, what is going on here? Hmm. That's not good. There we go. Uh, let's see. Picked up the uh, Tahoe Fire Chief. I think this is my only Tahoe in the collection. Uh, I got a lot of Escalades, but not a Tahoe. And this is the Hot Wheels Fire Department Rescue 8. And this is not a treasure hunt, guys. They used this logo before it became an actual treasure hunt. So, it is not a treasure hunt. They use this on a bunch of cars. I got a 57 Chevy. It's got this on there, which is not a treasure hunt. Um, the logo, I don't think it became a, a, the treasure hunt symbol until 2012 or 13. So, anything pre, uh, anything before 2012... It is not a super treasure hunt. I'm pretty sure on that. That logo. Not not saying that they didn't make super treasure hunts. I'm just saying the logo wasn't used as super treasure hunts until later. Which was like 2012 or 13. So. It's got the. Uh, looks like it's got the faster than ever. Five spokes on here. Black interior. That's well, detailed on the front. That's nice. Uh, not the grill. But it's got the uh, Chevrolet emblem and. Gold and the headlights and no taillights. It's red. That's good enough. But it's nice. So first time, like I said, having one of these in the collection. Uh, next, I have the black version of this, and finally now I got the yellow one of the Moon Eyes. A uh, little so fast, which is like a, I guess this is more like a little either Bonneville Salt Flat Speeder or something down the. The strip. I guess you could do either or, but I'm to me, I feel like this is a Bonneville car. Yeah, the uh, other variation of this is flat black with the uh, yellow and white stripes on it. Uh, I have that one, and that's in storage. But this is pretty cool. I didn't have first one. I think I've seen this one with the eyes. So pretty cool. This opens up right here. This little like flap. Uh, for uh, the, I guess, the driver to get in or just to service the motor pull in and out. Um, it's pretty severely chopped, which is pretty cool. It's got them thin, uh, I guess, three or five dotted wheels on the front. 
And then the LG uh, five spokes on the back. Pretty cool. Uh, 2010, I'm pretty sure. Yep. So, that. Uh, oh. Okay, this is this is a plus. So I picked up the, uh, this is a new model too for 2010. It's the uh, 08 Viper uh, RS, well no, RS, no, SRT8, ACR. I don't remember the last year, this is not the last year for the car, I know that, because they redesigned it one more time, updated the body. But see, they did the same thing with that paint, that red, that red, they used a white primer on there, it was just a real thin paint. Got all the details on the front, though. Yep, sure does. Cool, uh, aluminum cap for the... It's probably just one of them pushing ones. Or no, it might be actually a race cap on there where you push in the fuel cell. It's got like a black chrome interior. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, I'm a camera. I don't know why. I just, it did this the other day and it actually helped out then, but this is not working out too well. It's got the five spokes on there. I like this. I think that comes in black and uh, white for this year, uh, for uh, 2010. Which is, yeah, 2010. Nice. All right. Oh, so cool. I didn't, I, I forgot about this issue with this car. So somebody else, uh, he had a couple Porsches on there and the one guy said, I'll buy the Porsche. So I was like, okay, I'll buy the Porsche with the yellow spoiler. Well, apparently the issue with the other guy was he didn't specify which one are if he wanted them all? So ended up, I guess, losing out on both those cars. But I guess he had a spare one. He didn't tell me he had one, a spare one. But uh, here it is in my my collection, or in my collection of cars here in the, in the box. I have the other spoiler variation, which I think it's red or red black. Maybe I can't remember. Call I think it's black. But the yellow one was the variant I didn't have. And uh, I have it now, and it's pretty cool. So this is the Porsche uh, 911 GT3 Cup. Um, it's all metal. No, it's a plastic base. I thought it was metal. It feels, it feels, feels heavy. It's got the uh, lace wheels on it. Blue windshield, or windows with the headlights in blue. Red interior. It's got the alternate yellow spoiler, like I said, from 99. Very decent card, very clean. Awesome, I'm glad to have this one. I've been looking for this one for a while, so mission accomplished on that. Oh, apparently I missed this one. But this is the uh, white Latrucca from 2004. Five up here and white tinted windows it's got a burgundy base on it I like the Hot Wheels logo on the tailgate that's pretty cool sorry you can't see it that light is just like trust me guys there's a Hot Wheels logo right there yeah, you can see a little bit of it right there yeah there you go uh, this is basically a 50 Chevy uh, five window with the rare option. There's a, usually the three window, but this was the, the rare option where it um, has the five windows. It's got those corner windows in the in the uh, post or in between the doors and the rear window. It's a pretty rare option. And then I think this year's this is a weird year too because I think they redesigned this car. Or this car, this truck, like a 50, and they called it a 50 uh, Chevy, too. 
and uh, not Chevy too. Just saying, I think they call it. It was a redesigned pickup truck. I think they had two different pickup trucks for fifty. I don't know why I'm th I've heard that. It might have been a fifty one, but anyways, it might have been a forty nine too. I I don't think it was forty nine. I think it was fifty was like this, and then they redesigned it. But they did this. This was a rare option, like I said, for the uh, five window treatment. But it's got the flames around it too. It looks good. Slammed. It looks good. All right. I'm trying to speed this up for you guys. I know. I'm ramble. So let's see. We had a couple of these, the Jeep Scramblers. Um, I have a blue one, but I hadn't had the brown one. And I think there's another one in here too. Okay. Yeah, there it is. But it's got the. Uh, beadlock rims no these are not beadlocks these are just some off-road five spokes with the uh the uh tr the rims are painted with gloss black diff rates for the, to change up the uh you know that you could tell that they're not the same color it actually puts some detail on the rims it has got the scrambler livery on the side a little bit of hot wheel deco over there with the flames on the back but this looks pretty much factory from jeep maybe Maybe not the little swoosh up here, but still looks good. Uh, no tail light, no tail light detail or headlight detail. Um, got the little uh, axe with the couple pieces of wood in there for the fireplace or your bonfire. I like that metallic brown. That looks good. They did a good job on this one. This is also from 2010. Or is it nine? Well, this is nine, but it's, I'm pretty sure it's a 2010. Hey, okay, I'll call it nine. You win, Mattel. <laughs> Let's see, next, oh yeah, here's the other one. This looks good, too. This is the uh, white variation with the uh, red livery, uh, reddish, Interior, reddish maroon looking interior. Uh, it's got the uh, same wheels, but with the chrome treatment on the rim, on the wheels itself. Uh, looks like it's a chrome plastic base, maybe? Question mark? What's open? Nope, it's actually a black chrome base. Interesting. No detail course on here. And on the front, the uh, same. Now the bumper looks chrome there, but I guess it's black chrome. Well, the bottom definitely looks black chrome. But uh, this is from 09 as well. Pretty cool. All right. Moving along. This is the uh, Jaguar XJ220 with the gold metal speed wheels. This is the lace variation. And that blue, nice dark deep metallic blue. Looks good with the gray interior. No uh, details for the headlights or taillights. Plastic base. Uh, there's, I think, two variations of these wheels. One's the Ultra Hot Wheel uh, in gold, and um, nope, I think there's just two. This is the second one, Lace. I'm pretty sure of that now. But I love that blue. It just, that is so nice. I saw a metal flake in there. Nice job on this. They got a green one, too. It's not metal flake, but I like that one, too. It's got the uh, basic wheels on it and uh, chrome. Awesome looking car. Probably one of my favorites of that, that car. Oh, yeah. Just picked up a couple of these the other day, but I didn't have the black one. Uh, this is the uh, metallic black 30, or 47 Fleet Line. Basically a Chevy. Uh, before the Bel Air. Fastback. It's got the... Uh, Skirts on there with that chrome or silver, but it's supposed to be chrome. 
or aluminum or stainless steel is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, with the uh, lace wheels, if I didn't say that already. Uh, probably this is from 2005. Yep, 2005. Uh, there's a flat black one too. I have that one, but I didn't have this variation. I have the purple or the lavender one. And then there's a, a raw finish one, which I have. It's from the same year. Sorry, guys. Ugh. Um, But, man, this looks good. Very clean. I just got to clean these up. And they'll look good. All right. Oh, yeah, I bought this one because I couldn't remember if I had it or not. But this is the uh, Custom 41 Willow Scoop uh, in this uh, almost spectroflame, like maroon, uh, with a Hot Wheels Speed Shop uh, livery on the side. Uh, no details on the front. Or probably the back. Yeah. Yep. Uh... Gray base. Sorry, guys. Just gonna leave this on here for now. Gray grill. Yep. And it's got a little bit of chrome of the uh, air cleaner sticking out there. Pretty cool. I got this one, but I'll check to see if it's a variation or something. But if not, I'll probably put it up for trade eventually. Oh, yeah. I've been wanting this one for a while. Uh, lost that on it before, but not this time. All right. So, the Pikes Peak Tacoma. Um, never had this. If I have, I've been looking for this variation for a while. I thought it was really sharp looking. Um, I have a couple versions of this, but this is the faster than ever wheels, of course, with the uh, those. Uh, like copper wheel uh, treatment on the rims, and it's the uh, nickel plated uh, axles. It's supposed to make these fast. A lot of people like taking these apart and putting them on other cars. That's weird. It's got like the uh, what was that series? Wasteland series, I think it was. It's got that uh, little label or a little uh, emblem right there. Pretty cool. And that pearl white with the orange and blue flames. Man, it looks sharp. I like that. Oh, yeah, right there. Wastelanders. Duh. The reed. But, hey, at least I made the effort to think of it, right? <laughs> but it looks like the base. I don't know. I'm trying to understand that. See that right there? That looks metal. Hmm, but the bot the base is plastic. Interesting. One day maybe I'll take one of these apart on that little customized one or something. I don't know. But now that's got me intrigued. I'd like to know what that is. Okay. Moving next. Got me uh next is the Lamborghini Mercy Lago in Pearl White. They did the full treatment on this one. This one looks fantastic. Maybe a different wheel choice, but it doesn't look terrible on this. It's got the black treatment around the windows. Um, the chrome trim around the open or five spokes. Slotted five spokes. Um, we got the um, detail for the headlights at the emblem. Got the, ta or the turn signals on here. You got the tail lights, which is freaking awesome. Actually made the effort. Act cracks me up though, because they actually did the painting on the side, and it's got tail lights and headlights, so you know they can do it. Matter of fact, if you look at the uh, picture up here, it doesn't even really have that treatment on there, or just maybe it was just you know give it the treatment. You know, don't you know they? I guess they eyeballed it. I don't know. That shouldn't be actually. That shouldn't be painted white at all. Maybe just that piece in the back. Because it doesn't really match the picture. But oh well. Anyways, they did a good job on this. For being, what, 2010? It says, okay, well this says 8. So that's that's legit. 
Nice. Nice job. I like that. That looks great. Oh, yeah. So, I hadn't, I've had this car, but I have, mine's an error car. So, and this one's not an error car. But, uh, finally got the uh, original Grand National back in the collection. Actually, you know, I had it in the collection. I've had one, but like I said, my, uh, the plastic, like here, like it didn't get trimmed right, so it's all over the place. Like it's ex excess all up into the wheel and out. It sits, makes the car sit kind of funny. But this is the, one of the originals from uh, 27, or <laughs> 2007, new models. You can tell I'm tired, I guess, maybe. No details on the front. It's got the Grey National emblem on the side. Chrome interior. Um, let's see, yeah, no, no detail in the back. But this is the original one. I think there's a silver one, a blue one, and a maroon one. I think they made four of these that year. So one of those is probably a Kmart exclusive, and the other one's probably Walmart exclusive, maybe. But I'm pretty sure there's four colors, because I think I have them all. Blue, silver, maroon, and this is the black one. So, and I think it's probably the first one that came out. I don't know, it says F, so. I don't know. Gives you some fun facts about the Beat Grand National. That's cool. Did you know that only... 547 87 Buick Grand Nationals were made and that it was one of the fastest production vehicles ever produced making it a very desirable collector desirable to the collectors so it was the fastest car for 87 faster than the vet for that year I believe it was but then again I'm pretty sure it's the GNX that was the fastest because it's the one that has the uh, turbo charge from um, McLaren, was it? I don't think it was Lotus. 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 Um, I don't know. I can't remember who did the turbo chargers on those. But they beefed them up. They made them, they, were, they spooled them up faster, I believe. Gave them those nice honeycomb wheels. They really look good. When they brought that one out, that was a nice car. I mean, the Grand National is nice, but that one was just one step up. Made it even look better. Uh, maybe somebody can comment on that, but I'm pretty sure it was somebody did the modification on the, uh, the turbos. All right, so uh, here's a limited edition flash slider. This must have been from, uh, I, I kind of forgot I got this car, malt o -Meal. there we go. So it's a malt o -Meal. It's exclusive. And see, it's got that white, like, primer, and they spray paint it in that metallic purple. I don't know what the deal with this. I know these things, when you open these up, man, they had that, you could smell that fresh paint on these things. I'm not kidding. They're just like, phew, smell it. But uh, this is the, uh, basically a 56 Chevy. Pick them up. Like the uh, livery on the side. Didn't know it had the Malta Meal thing on it, but that's no big deal. I should have realized since it was limited edition that it was some type of exclusive or somebody. Uh, chrome base there. You need me to pull it off. There you go. Chrome base. Made in Malaysia. And, uh, yeah. And there's one more. And I'm calling it a uh, morning, guys, because it's early here. And I got to get some sleep. I just wanted to get this in. Sorry I'm not into my cheery self now. I'm just tired. <laughs> I really am. All right. Get back on here. There we go. But yep, there's a flash lighter and the last car in here. Yeah, this is the last one. 
is the green willies. I needed this one. I didn't have this one. Cards, eh, it's not bad. But like I said, it's over to over 12 year old card. So sometimes you just take what you can get. If you find one down the road better, then if you want to replace it, then you can. That is up to you guys. Mostly sometimes you can't find a better one if it's a rare car. I don't get too picky. But uh, like I said, sometimes these cars, you know, if you're going to flea market or swap meets or car shows, they'll have them all stacked up. And like I said, you can't always see all these imperfections. So sometimes you just got to take a chance. I mean, some of these are really good shape and then a couple of these are just like, eh, well, you know, I can live with it. But um, yeah, guys, this is it. This is my haul from Jeffro's Diecast. Uh, yup. Sorry if it's blurry, but yup. Uh, that is it, guys. That is all she wrote. So, uh, thank you for, uh, again, for subscribing, all the new guys. I uh, appreciate it. Um, all the new guys that, uh, Nas brought over uh, for his uh, giveaway, which is sounds really cool. I hope uh, y'all, you know, hope y'all win. Whoever win, man, go in there and do it. Get in there, uh, subscribe, and do that. And he's got quite a few co uh, cool new uh, JDM cars there. Um, I think he's got a giveaway. Uh, not a giveaway, but a DeLorean, I believe it is. He's um, putting up for... Uh, Five dollars a pop, I think it is. Oh, well, anyways, I'm not gonna get all that. You can go to his channel and check that. But yes, um, if you want to like, if you're new or never seen this, subscribe if you want to, share if you want to. It's up to you. If not, thanks for at least watching. Uh, I enjoy it. Uh, you know, bringing this stuff to you all. Um, it's fun. A little bit of knowledge I have, and always, you know, if you all know something, let me know. Uh, always appreciate the uh, input. So, uh, guys, um, you all have a good weekend because it's almost here. And uh, I'll see you on the next channel. Or, <laughs> next channel. I'll see you on the next uh, episode. Deuces. <laughs>